Hey friends, how are you? It's Kristen here from Whole Family Health Food in Georgina, Ontario. And I wanted to talk about spring cleansing, spring detoxing. Detoxing in the nutrition world has become a bit of a euphemism for anything from drinking laxative tea to fasting to juice cleanses. Um, so it's really, there's such a broad range of things we can be referring to or thinking about when we're talking about cleansing or detoxing. I wanted to talk about some best practices. If this is something that really resonates for you, um, just so that you can avoid some of the pitfalls and get a little bit more understanding around, you know, what are the physiological processes that we're aiming to support here. So when we talk about detoxing or cleansing, this is something that your body, if you have a liver and you have at least one kidney, you're doing it. Your body is doing it. We're constantly neutralizing, detoxifying, and eliminating any compounds that we're eating, drinking, breathing in, anything that we're consuming that our body deems to be not useful or harmful. It's going to work on neutralizing it and getting it out of the body. So how do we get it out of the body? There are three major pathways of elimination. Through um, our kidneys are gonna help eliminate through the urine. Our colon is gonna help eliminate. Um, so we wanna be pooping regularly and through our skin. Whenever we're sweating, we're eliminating toxins through the skin. The skin is actually the largest organ of elimination because hello, it's, it covers our whole body. So what you wanna be doing when you're thinking about cleansing or detoxifying is really just checking in with yourself. Is, is the point for you turning your attention to supporting these pathways? right? Because I know for myself, um, energy goes, you know, where your attention goes. So if I set myself a goal, and I give myself a time limit, then I'm going to put more attention on that thing for a period of time. So very often, just the energy of spring, we start to feel that we want to shake off that winter heaviness and sluggishness. And so this idea of doing a cleanse or a detox becomes really intriguing. So I would encourage you to just think about those three major ways that our body is always getting rid of junk and put your attention on supporting them. So are you drinking your eight glasses of water a day? Can you improve your hydration? And if that's an area that you can focus on, then put your attention there. That's gonna help your kidneys do their job. If you are feeling really bloaty, really sluggish, a little constipated or a lot constipated, um, then you want to put your focus on, are you eating foods that are fiber rich? Are you eating mostly unprocessed foods? So food in its natural state or, uh, you know, often referred to as whole food. So how we find it in nature before it gets processed into something else. And can increasing your water and your fiber rich food and reducing processed or packaged food or fast food, can that help get the bowels going? Very often time, just those simple tweaks can help to start regulate you. If you are finding that you just have chronically sluggish bowels or you've gotten into a situation that making those dietary adjustments aren't quite cutting it, then you can definitely add in a fiber supplement or you can add in some probiotics, or if you're finding the bloating is really constant, then a digestive enzyme can help support your digestion from the top end. So there are definitely things that you can do to intervene and help get that back into balance, but you want to be careful, or at least mindful, that a lot of products that call themselves detox or cleansing, um, especially if they're teas or beverages, a lot of them are filled with senna or cascara, which are two stimulant laxative herbs. So if we're not making any changes to our hydration level, if we're still eating highly processed food and we're just drinking some senna tea or some cascara tea to stimulate the contraction in our colon and sort of force ourselves, um, to have bowel movements, then we're not really supporting that natural pathway of elimination. We're 
sort of interfering with it. We're intervening um, in a way that's that's not going to be sustainable. As soon as you stop drinking that tea, then you're going to go back to feeling right how you were feeling. So when we look at the hierarchy of how our body wants to cleanse, the hydration and keeping the bowels going regularly, and when I say regularly, and I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again, regular doesn't mean on a set schedule. It doesn't mean I go poop, you know, regularly twice a week. It means regularly every day, like at least once a day, you need to be moving your bowels and that's going to support a healthy elimination process in your body. So work on those two things first, because think about it. If you're cleaning out the kitchen, and you're scraping dishes and you're cleaning junk out of the fridge and you're putting everything down the drain and the drain gets clogged, you just end up with a sink full of disgusting water, right? So if you start encouraging your cells to dump toxins faster than normal, and then you are dehydrated and your kidneys can't flush quickly and efficiently, and you're not pooping, and so nothing can get eliminated through the colon, you're gonna start to feel like a disgusting sink of gross water. So the first thing you wanna do, the number one priority is keep your hydration up and make sure those bowels are moving. And then if you do want to really go a deeper level, you know, sort of get into things on a little bit of a deeper level, then you want to make sure any dietary supplement that you introduce is going to really support your system with a lot of extra antioxidants. Because again, the more that we get toxins circulating in our system, our body uses antioxidants to neutralize toxins. So there's going to be a higher demand for antioxidant nutrients. So that's where eating that whole food diet comes in because plant food and unprocessed food are very rich in antioxidants. You could also introduce a supplement for a period of time and boost up that antioxidant nutrition. And if you want to look at some herbs that are very supportive for the liver or the kidneys as they're doing their job, then you can look for some sort of formulation that is rich in milk thistle, which is a wonderful herb for uh, liver support specifically. Um, dandelion is a really nice gentle diuretic is gonna help the kidneys do their job. So you wanna make sure that you're just looking for all those elements um, in that order. The hydration, that your bowels are moving on at least a once a daily basis, um, that you are focusing on food that is in its unprocessed state, rich in natural fibers. If you need to add a dietary fiber supplement, then that's the time to do it. If you need any other tools to help get that digestion balanced before you go deeper, do that. And if you're ready to sort of dive into the deep end, then make sure that you're supporting your body with lots of antioxidants and some really lovely herbs to support the liver and the kidneys in doing their job. Okay, I hope that helps. I hope that that helps you just make some distinctions between um, the language, some of the language that gets used and sort of thrown around casually and what's actually going on physiologically and how we can support those natural detoxification processes that are always going on, um, you know, for better or worse to varying degrees and help you feel vibrant and energized as we step into this new season. If you have any questions about any of this, you know where to find me, wholefamilyhealthfood.com or Kristen at Whole Family Health Food is my email or even better, pop in and say hi. Take care guys and I'll see you next time.